I'm going to go to my perspective view. I'm going to scale it outwards. Actually, I'm going to go back to my front view, scale it that way. And also, I think it will help if we scale it that way as well. So basically, we did not move it, but scale it. Now we want to shoot. OK, go to front, and this time pull it out like that. And again, we want to extrude, but not move it, uh, and only scale it. So what we're going to do, what, what I want to do now, actually, you don't even need to uh, scale this down again because I think I think that looks fine. I just, just wanna just wanna undo my extrude. There we go. I just wanna move this up again. There we go. That looks fine. Cool. So basically, right now we have this, which doesn't look too bad. And if we render this, this is how it looks like. And it looks it doesn't look that bad. So what we want to do is to create the handle. What I want to do is go. I want to uh, start this with a cylinder. But because if I uh, there are two ways, you can just uh, make it in the front viewport and then rotate it like that, like so. If you don't like that, you can just uh, make it. In the top view, cylinder, and there you go. It's down here. I want, oops, my cylinder's gone down here. I just want to stable on my keyboard and move it up. If you're not sure about how how to like move around uh, or how, what are the shortcuts and stuff, I do have one very basic tutorial for that one. Um, you can check it out if you want. So I want to I want to select it. Do not right click and go to convert to a poly, but do select the object and go to modify panel. And here I don't want I don't want it to have much details. I, I, I just want to have say actually uh, I'll just start with three for now. And what I'm going to do is uh, modifier options and go to edit, edit poly. Now what I want to do is select vert. And then select all this, put it up. And before I do that, I want to go back to cylinder actually and press yes. And I want to increase the radius in this. Or do I? No, no, I don't. Ha, <laughs> sorry. Cool. Um, I just want to make sure that this is centered. I just want to scale this out a bit like that. Alt X again, so. It's see through and we know what we're doing. So like the top for uh, these top verts and when I got here I just wanna scale this out. So the other ones pull them up over here and scale them. Now make sure that you scale them from the middle and not from just one axis. Um, and now I want to what do I want to do? Mm, actually I want to Actually, I want to delete the top bit, and this is actually very good because I haven't planned out the tutorial, and basically you will also see the errors that, or the uh, the problems that you might may come across when modeling. So this is a kind of pretty good actually. So I'm just going to select the problems that I don't need. Hit delete. Uh, select this little curve like option thing called border, and then select it. Select the top bit, and then zoom into it and this is how it looks like. What I'm going to do is uh, hit cap here because I don't have a polygon here yet but when I do press cap there we go now I have a polygon on this now I can select it. Now that I've got a polygon I want to select it I want to go to extrude okay move pull it and I don't want actually I don't want to pull it up I just want to scale it out scale it out extrude okay pull it up and if you want you can just do this one more time, but not much actually. Extrude and again pull it up, and this is how it looks like. So okay, I just want to press uh, both of my objects. Press it Alt X so I can basically see how they look like, and this is how they look like at the moment. And if we render them, this is what we can get. Now, uh, what we can do is just make it look just a bit better. What we can do is go to the edge mode, select one edge, and then go to uh, loop. Now when we've done that, 
as you can see, I selected the edges that are basically kind of connected to this, which is nice. Now what I want to do, go to front and then use the chamfer option, right? Well, you don't really need to go to the settings, just click chamfer and drag it out. Not too much, only a bit, like that. It should basically just give it a better look, I'm just saying. You don't have to do this, but... And then, obviously, at the bottom, we need to we need this to be sharp. Select the whole thing and scale them all down so it's got a sharp kind of looking thing. So it looks like that. And as I said, this this, this sword right now has quite a lot of polygons in it. Um, if you're making this for a game, make sure you uh, you keep the polygons down. Um, cool. Now what I want to do is just check the texture a bit, just to show you how it might look like. If it might, it will have to just kind of make it look better. I just want to say that, say color, just give it a bit more color, and something like that. And also good maps, uh, reflection, do do do. And you don't need to learn this right now, but it might be kind of advanced for you if you if you're not very uh, comfy with. 3ds max at the moment. I basically make it look something like this, and give it a bit of shininess, stuff like that. There we go. Now it kind of looks shiny. Uh, if you actually do want to know how I made the texture, it's not hard. I, I can just do a little tutorial for you. Just let me know if you need to know how to, if you actually want to know how to do this. And I'm going to just apply the same texture to this upper part of... There we go. Oops. Actually, in order to do that, I need to convert this to a poly. And drag and drop. Good stuff. So now I haven't taken the middle part. But